get surprised often. Um, you can talk to my wife about that. Like she she says that I ruin every surprise that I find out about things, stuff like that. But this was totally surprising. I had no idea about this. So um, this really, really took me off guard. So um, kind of speechless with, with everything. But um, um, thanks for uh, all those words. Um, and oh uh, boy. That, um, I think, for me personally, uh, tonight was something I needed, and so thank you for that. Um, you, you've poured into me tonight and um, have given me some uh, courage and inspiration, and so thank you for that. Um, if there is uh, anything, um, in my opinion, you, you, you guys, the people that were sitting here, um, uh, you said some incredibly kind things. Um, if there was uh, anything good or kind or anything like that that you've experienced, um, uh, from from me personally, it's from it's a couple things. First, it's because Jesus has changed my life, um, and so the the best thing that has ever happened to me is Jesus Christ. It is, and so if there is anything good that comes out of me, it is not me. It is because Jesus is doing something in me that only Jesus can do, and so um, and that's that's what He does. That's just what He does. Um, the second thing is uh, if I was ever free. To, to do something uh, with you guys and girls. Um, it's because my wife freed me up. Um, we have uh, you know four kids at home, and uh, that's why I like to play with my wife, as was mentioned in the group. Um, but uh, but uh, my wife is uh, amazing, and when you talk about behind the scenes stuff that goes on, and uh, all, all that sort of stuff, um, she did everything behind the scenes, and she freed me up to, to do things and go places and all of that. And so she is like, uh, you know, the wind behind the sail and everything like that in my life. And so I um, really appreciate her and, and just love her to death. And then um, um, I, I would say, like, the last thing, you guys were as big of an influence on me as I think, you know, as I hear some of you say um, that um, I, I'm just a better person, I think, because of, of working with teenagers, working with you guys and girls. And uh, you, you have inspired me, you encouraged me, uh, you made me feel young, and you made me feel old at the same time, and um, I, uh, I really do miss you. I really do. Um, and so thank you for... Uh, Thank you for those words and everything. Um, kind of, I don't know what else to say. Uh, kind of, the only thing I, I guess I would say is that everything that I wanted for Axis was for people to come in here to Axis. And I, every Wednesday, all the time, I would pray that you walk through the doors that you'd feel loved, you'd feel welcomed, and you'd feel accepted. Because I think when those three things happen, that it allows us to get a picture of a God who loves us, who will always welcome us, and will always accept us. And so um, that was what I wanted to see happen all the time. And kind of what I do now is I try to just take what I did here and, and I'm implementing it to the church as a whole. And so uh, my same prayer is that everybody that walks through our doors on a Sunday morning or at any time uh, during the week that they will feel loved, that they will feel welcome, that they will feel accepted because I think when they get that, that they're getting a very, very clear picture of who God is. And so we can do all sorts of stuff, and this would apply to you guys and girls at Axis. Um, and I, I hope that I hope that you get this, because you probably heard me say this a ton of times. But we can do everything that we can to bring somebody into this place, um, and we can, you know, whatever it is, you can invite people, hold a big event, whatever it is, you can bring them in. So we, it's, that's the easy part. The difficult part is is keeping somebody here. And uh, the reason we keep them here is because we want them to take steps closer to Jesus. That's the reason why we want people to stay. The way that you keep people at a place is you care for them. And uh, so it doesn't matter how good everything up front is. If somebody doesn't feel loved or valued or accepted, they're just not going to stay. And so um, I know that Dan wants people to stay at Axis because when you stay here, when people stay here, they take steps closer to Jesus. And we want people to stay at Grace Community Church as a whole because when they stay, they take steps closer to Jesus. So I think that when we love people and care for them, it's kind of like the glue that, that holds everything together. And so um, that's kind of what I wanted to do at Axis. That's kind of what I do on Sundays. Grace is all. I love you guys. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, Dan rocks. Dan totally rocks too. So. One last quick question. One minute. 
what do you do now? I mean, you're a youth pastor for 11 years. Why don't you share with them a little bit of like what you're doing, you know, or the uh, last couple of months, your job, that type of thing. Yeah, sure. I can do that in one minute. I don't work on Wednesdays anymore. Um, so I just work one day a week now. Just Sunday it used to be Sunday and Wednesday. Um, it's just Sunday. No. Um, <laughs> no, uh, big thing that I do, I do three things. I, uh, I care for people. So make sure that people in the church that need things, uh, that they need a special touch. If there's a life event that happens, uh, there's a verse in Romans chapter 12 that says, uh, celebrate with those who celebrate, weep with those who weep. Uh, I want our church to be in the picture when people are celebrating, and I also want them to be, I also want our church to be in the picture when people are weeping. So, uh, care for people. Uh, second thing, I connect people, so I try to get people connected to the church in a small group, and serving, and uh, first impressions, help them to come here and, and just get connected. And then last thing is I just try to help people take steps closer to Jesus through the different things that go on at the church and, and stuff like that. That's a lot for one day a week. It really is, yeah. And I'm glad you don't wear what you wore tonight for your first impressions. You know, if people if people saw that coming in church, who knows? You know what they think? Who knows what they think? Uh, just a couple of things. Uh, just so you know, Rich, we also started a Facebook page, and so there are some alumni people who could not be here, but they post some things. So we'll include you in on that, and so you can kind of enjoy reading through those comments. We also have just a small tip of our appreciation, uh, you know, for what you've done, and uh, we'll make sure you get, get something as well. So uh, just something small, small. And so we want you to feel that we know that you know you're still part of of Grace Community. You're still part of Axis. You know, you're you're etched, you're woven in the fabric uh, of Axis, and so we're glad you're part of that. And so I think it'd be appropriate uh, if we could pray for Rich and uh, as, a, as a symbolic gesture. Um, you know, a lot of times people lay hands on, on people, and in other words, we're saying, we got your back. We got your back. We're glad you're, we're, we're, we got your back. And we're glad you're here, and uh, so excited to see um, what God's going to do in the future. And I've appreciated Rich because he's been gracious in this transition period. And I think good leadership is, is really tested through transition periods. And he's been generous, gracious, and a big help. And so, love working with you, and thanks, thanks for helping me through this transition period. But... Um, we're going to pray for Rich, and I'm going to ask, if, if you feel comfortable, come on down. But I'm going to ask Rich if you can stand up, and we're going to place hands on, on Rich, and we're going to say, we, we got your back. Uh, we support you, we love you, uh, we want the best for you. And, uh, we're going to spend a little time uh, praying for Rich, and uh, he's got a lot of stuff on his plate here with this, uh, this new endeavor, uh, this new job. And so we're going to... We're going to spend a little bit of time praying the Lord and uh, supporting our brother in the Lord. I'm going to ask if, if our elders, if Scott and Craig, if you could pray, uh, I have a mic here, and if you could pray for Rich, uh, I'd appreciate it. Hey, Eric, Father God, we love you so much, and thank you for your creation. Each one of us are different, are unique, and wonderful, and Rich is definitely praise you for how he is created in a way that uh, he is so giving and loving and ready to pour out into uh, not only us, but everyone throughout the church. We pray that you would empower him, that uh, you would fill him and guide him, give him uh, just a, your spirit to sense where people need a special, special touch, and they need love, and they need 